All right, guys, I think I have enough light to film now. I've been out here in the dark for about uh, 45 minutes. Bite's been pretty good, so let's see if we can just uh, keep picking away what we're doing in the dark here. Uh, let's start throwing some, some top water, guys. Got fish busting, a couple spots here, so. A minute, we got, we got until one boat goes by. Lose him now. <laughs> On some fish here, guys. Moved from where I was catching fish earlier. I'm on a new spot now. It's a nice, sizable fish. Ooh, wow, oh, it's still red drum. I guess these fish moved down a little bit. Gosh, that's a big trout. I was catching them in the dark. It's good to see I could catch them into the light like that. Man. Nice top water trout right there. Very shallow fish, man, very shallow. Okay, real nice fish here, wow. Take you out of the water for a second. Sorry, it's gonna be just a lot easier for me to handle you. This fish is really nice, man. This one is really nice. Wet the board. I'm trying to protect the slime here. Been on trout like this all morning from the dark until now. 24 and a half. That's almost my personal best. So I'm going to put this one back. Took good care of her. That's probably one of the best mornings of trout fishing I've had so far. 24 and a half. If I had to catch one more during the day, I was losing confidence there. It's pretty cool. So these Nomad popular poppers. These are the Riptide 95s. Very popular lure in Australia. First citation trout on top water, actually. All my other ones have been on plastics. Seems like the top water bite is not holding on very long. Man, it's my experience. It's like a boat goes by. And you gotta wait forever sometimes for these fish to just settle back in. All right, throw this guy one more time. Zoom fluke, and then we're gonna move on. Once the zoom fluke here, uh -huh. more average one. This one's a male. You hear him grunting? That's a male. All right, we're gonna bring it to the banks, the marsh banks, right now. Let's, uh, see what we can find in the grass. I think the grass might be the best move. So, couple reds here. It seems like. Uh, there we go. Battery died right there. Mid fight. But uh, I gotta look at him. It's a speckled trout. Alright. Lots of trouts today. Some good trout fishing right now happening. These are the average ones. Zoom fluke, rigged weedless, lots of trout. Really could look for the reds. I gotta go somewhere else for those reds though. And I don't know what kind of day I wanna make out of this. Promised somebody I'd be home kinda early today. Good amount of action to be had though. Oh, that was a drum. I found a few of them. 
might be better. That one's a little bit larger. Okay. Check out that golden bad boy. Alrighty. Lots of these guys. Love them. All right, this lure is a basic zoom fluke, very weedless. I hit it up with a drop of Procure. I'm just casting along to that bank there, like moving around a little bit. Oh man, he thumped it. This one's great. I'm gonna get my butt kicked right here. This one's gonna kick my butt. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. This one's good, man. Oh gosh, it's ultra light. I hope I can survive this. Man. Oh yeah, that's a good fish, man, for the backwater. Heck yeah, man. It's a quality backwater fish. Today wasn't bad, all things considered. That guy thumped it. Look at that one, huh? That's awesome. It's not bad. 25 and a half inch red drum. These guys eat pretty well, but um, we just did those Atlantic Bonito videos. So uh, we could just send him on his way. And he's gonna go eat all those shrimps and crabs down there now. Try that little creek again. There's like a little pocket. I'm guessing there's a few just holding there. <laughs> I found their hole for the day. Another red. Oh, flatty. Using these creeks, that's for sure. All right, so our flounder season is closed until August. Our flounder season is closed until August 15th. We're allowed one fish per day. So if you're not a North Carolina uh, angler and you didn't know that, yeah, that's the flounder season we got here. Oh, found a good little hole for for this part of the tide today. It's usually not many fish here. I think today's a little unusual though. Went to a little heavier rod. It's like a perfect ambush point. I bet you these fish will run up in there at some point during this tide though. So this lure I'm throwing here actually is a new lure of mine. And they're available now. That's a quarter ounce inshore Mackinac. Now as people ask me to try to make something inshore and I made a three eighths and a quarter ounce one of these guys. Nice tiny little profile for small fish that I catch, but another slot red. Cool, look at that beautiful fish. Let's put them back. 
and sometimes just look for something different, something irregular in the grass along the grass line. That's all it is sometimes. Something different. Oh yeah. These fish are really running this grass line though. Get a little more weight now. But yeah, they're working this grass line hard. That's great. Smallest one of the day, actually. Cool. I fished a couple different things today. In the dark, I caught specks on the Savage Gear shrimps and the Zoom Flukes. That big one for the daytime took a Nomad Topwater. Um, this is the Riptide 95. Um, really, really nice topwater. Uh, it's the same topwater we're catching mangrove snappers on in the in the Florida Keys. And then I couldn't really catch any more trout for the life of me. Uh, then we went back to the Zoom Fluke and we caught some fish on those quarter ounce inshore max. I like those Daiwa Fuegos inshore. They're just fun light rods. I'm using all those Fenwick HMGs for the lighter stuff now too. Uh, really fun inshore stuff. That one, um, I think I have the, the medium light one. I think that one is a little too light for inshore. We might leave that one home for now. Check video's description, there's links all the gear, all the lures, uh, everything is in there. I ended up fishing nothing deeper than two feet of water. I tried some deeper stuff for sheep's head, no good. Everything was up shallow today. So all in all, that's not a bad day of inshore fishing, especially, you know, myself, that's definitely not my specialty. Hopefully I'll get a little bit better at it every year though. So I'm still green to it, man. Five years now, so I'm still I'm a sophomore in high school, I'd say. Remember, if you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. It's a genuine plea for you. The shakedown. So uh, let me get out of here. Thank you guys for watching.